glamour and pageantry that surrounds the Helix High School athletic tradition has long been epitomized by the award-winning Highlander band. Tonight, on a cool December evening, they would lead the way into Diego Stadium as their football team went after a CIF crown. into tonight's contest, the 1980 Highlanders have had a truly remarkable season. Head coach Jim Arnise has led his club to 11 straight wins and a gross month league championship. Arnise has assembled a staff and group of players that have become the talk of San Diego County. Helix is playing for the county title for the second time in three years, having captured the crown in 1978. Now, only two years later, they're back with an almost entirely new group of players. It's tough to reach the top, and even tougher to stay there. Arnais and his staff are aware of the difficulty, aware that they had defeated tonight's opponent earlier in the year, a fact that can often mean a fatal letdown. But if this team can maintain the momentum, well, they certainly have the personnel to win it all. Number 14 is Kevin Durden, a three-year starter, one of only two Scotties who played on the championship 1978 club. Durden, an outstanding all-around athlete, was the spark plug of coach Jeff Patel's ground game, averaging over five yards a carry. Carl Durrell also had a big year, coming up with key plays like this crucial scoring run versus Granite Hills. The big win over the playoff-bound Eagles was one of the great moments of 1980. Durrell was the club's second leading scorer. Number 36, John Trusco, and number 87, Leon White, could be called upon for the tough inside yardage. Co-captain White was a virtual wrecking crew, steamrolling opponents. Nine Highlanders carried the ball in 1980, playing a vital role in the club's versatile offense. Numbers 12 and 7 figured in an awful lot of scoring plays during the campaign. Number 12 belonged to quarterback Jim Plum, and he spent a great deal of time aiming passes at Alan Durden. 38 of those aerials reached their target, and Durden turned them into 817 yards and a club leading 12 touchdowns. Carl Durrell also caught passes and scored six touchdowns through the air to go along with the pair he garnered on the ground. The All-Leaguer had almost 1,000 yards of total offense. Galloway was the team's third leading receiver, and his 24 receptions resulted in 400 yards and three touchdowns. Galloway was voted the club's most improved player. Co-captain Kevin Durden grabbed 20 tosses, and the veteran all-leaguers presence helped take the pressure off the other Scotty receivers, and there were a bunch of them. Nine Highlanders found themselves on the receiving end of Jim Plum Aerials. The CIF Player of the Year completed 149 passes for 2,400 yards and 22 touchdowns. He set three CIF records and tied two others as the Helix offense dazzled San Diego County. Number 